video and I realized that a lot of my items are super summer appropriate so I decided to call this video my little summer haul video even though not everything is summer appropriate um, so yeah let's get on with it to start off the first item that I'm gonna mention is the top I'm wearing right now I just didn't know what top to wear to film this video I wanted to make it look more summery but I don't really have any summery clothes to begin with uh, other than the clothes that I got recently so I decided to just wear this on so this is the first item that I'm going to mention and this is a crop boxy top I saw it uh, in Fives Plaza and I really liked it but I ended up getting it at Skate because it's a lot cheaper. A lot of places are selling it right now. It is also available in like a white background. This is the black one. I really like the greens and the pink. I think it looks really like summer. I think it will be very suitable for summer because of its bright colors and also because of how lightweight it is. I think it's because of work that I always have to wear completely all black and I've been working about like five days a week now so that's a lot and I think it just made me appreciate wearing colors even more which is why I get so excited when I see all this like loud and colorful colors everywhere the next clothing item I got is this flower top and this is also a crop top very summer appropriate. I'm super obsessed with tops with this sort of cutting at the front. I think it complements my body type a lot and it makes my arms look a lot slimmer than it actually is in my opinion. And the special thing about this top is that at the back it has this cage design which makes it hard to wear a bra with but I'll figure that out. Um, I got this top in white, it is also available in black and I just thought that the flowers has a very nice colour to it. It's more of an like orangey, yellow, pink flower compared to the one I'm wearing which is more on the darker floral summer side I suppose. The next top is this one. It looks really similar to the previous one that I was holding but this one doesn't have the cage design at the back and this one I got it in black. It also available in navy and white. I got this because the colors of the flowers are really matchy and really pretty as well. So I just couldn't I just couldn't resist myself from getting all this pretty floral prints and really bright color prints. So I just decided to get this. This one has a similar cutting in the front, but the bottom is slightly different. The front portion is slightly shorter than the one at the back. I'm currently clueless about how I'm gonna pair this up because it looks kind of weird with the uneven bottom length but I think I'll just pair it with a pair of high waisted black jeans and I'll be good to go. The next top is slightly different from the rest of the tops that I'll be showing you guys. It is this black top and I went to the store and I wanted to get everything floral but uh, I have to get like four pieces to make uh, every piece cheaper so I didn't know what to pick because they ran out of like floral prints that I actually like so I was thinking that since that I always have to wear black to work I might as well get a black top and I was drawn to this because it looks very casual and lightweight as well which may be somewhat appropriate as well because of how lightweight it is as you guys can see it is very sure it has a zipper at the back and the thing about this top is that I like how boxy the sleeves look and it also looks like it has a lot of layering of panels um, so underneath these I'm probably just gonna wear a crop tank top so that I can still show off different uh, sheerness I guess like opaqueness or transparenciness of the top. This top has a flowy and chiffon like material so I think it will be great for really casual days as well and since it's black I can also wear it to work. The next top is something that I have been eyeing for for so long because it was so pretty and just yesterday Stradivarius was having their sales and so I decided to check it out and it was on sale. So I was really darn excited so I just hopped in and got the shirt and it is this top over here. It has a very nice pattern to it. It is different from the rest of the top that I showed you guys because all the flowery tops that I showed you guys are flowery and they are floral patterns and this one is just a more abstract 
pattern it's totally non-floral but the colors are really pretty it's like a lime green and a turquoise and a navy and I thought it looked really so darn pretty the thing about this top is that it also has the cage pattern at the back but the difference between this shirt and the previous cage shirt that I showed you guys is that this shirt has a zipper from the top of the shirt all the way down to the bottom so it makes taking this top off super easy and I really appreciate that. The next few items are nail polishes. You know I love nail polishes and I love changing my nail polishes um, quite a lot. Uh, so I decided to go get some nail polishes that are more summery and more bright and basically uh, nail polishes to just match all my flowery clothes. So the first one that I got is this pink one and this one is a more hot pink but it's different from the hot pink one that I always have been using. Um, this one's a uh, Michelin polish and it is A9. This one has more of a purple-ish tones in it. It's a little bit more darker than the one that I've always been using but it is not like a dark pink as well. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell from here but I tried this on once and I really like it. I'm not sure exactly what color it is but it's just such a pretty pink color that um, I had to get because I can be a pretty pinky girl at times so a lot of my clothes uh, match pink very well so the safest nail color to go for is definitely a pink nail polish for me. The next color I got is this orange color nail polish. I don't have like a bright orange color nail polish. I have one that is like pastel but I think that's more appropriate for like spring so I decided to get this one because it's more bright and I have a yellow nail polish so I'm not gonna go for yellow again so I got this orange nail color and it's N44 and I thought it matches my spring outfits a lot as well and it's just pop of color and I like I mentioned I don't have any orange bright orange nail polish so now I do the next two polish I got is from a Korean brand and it's called Intercolor Pretty Neo Flower and uh, the first color that I got is this pink color called uh, Hyung Kwang Pink and it is in the shade 207 and Hyung Kwang Pink just means fluorescent pink and so I'm wearing it right now and I'm loving it. Um, like the name says it is a fluorescent color, it's more like neon pink. So it's very bright and very just summery and I've been looking for this pink for quite some time right now so I was really happy to find it and so it was a buy two for five bucks kind of a thing. I had to pick another color so I just went with this one and this is in the shade 206 yes in pink and this just means pretty pink. This is just a little light pink new polish um, that I don't have. like. I didn't know what color to pick so I just thought a pink new color shouldn't do me wrong so I just grabbed this. So sunglasses with those mirror reflected shades are super trendy right now so I decided to get myself some and so I got myself this one and this one is more of a orangey pink um, shade color. You know what I mean. It has a very basic frame which is good because I have a very weird face shape. Uh, I don't have like the perfect face shape that fits every single frame. So I know I look good in this frame because I have the exact kind of frame in the normal black one. So uh, I just got this one and I feel like the orangey tones and the shade really brings out the pink undertones to like my clothes and my nail polishes and it just helps to amplify the summer feel and the mood. So it was a buy two for 12 bucks kind of thing so I decided to get one for my boyfriend because we're going to Resort World really soon so I thought he needed a nice summery sunglasses as well so I got him this one in this frame because I don't think that I look good in this frame but he looks great in it so I decided to get him this one. What do you think? I think I look really weird in this frame. Anyway, I really like the blue and green hues of this sunglasses. Like mine was orangey pink and his was like this blue and green and I really liked it so I decided to go back to the store and get myself another pair because why the hell not? It's only like $6.90 and I know a lot of places are selling it at a lot more expensive price like Topshop and Stradivarius are also having it. So I got myself this one, slightly different from this one because it doesn't have the green hues in it. 
but whatever, right? These sunglasses claim to have UV protection, which is really odd because they are super cheap and I just... I don't know, but I don't have hopes on the UV protection anyway. Um, so this is the other one that I got. It's in a blue shade color and I think it will be good for like my clothes that has more of a green tones to it that will match like the blue and stuff. Oh, yes. So part of my haul, I also got myself a monopod because why not? It was freaking cheap. I only got it for like $4.90 and I just thought it was really cheap because previously I think it was selling for like 20 bucks and then it dropped to 10 bucks and then I saw the shop selling at $5.90 and the shop just beside the shop was selling at $4.90 so I was thinking that heck I'll just get it. I've been wanting to get it for quite some time because my friend has it and she said it was very fun so I actually tried it the night that I got it and somehow it was super fun. I don't know why I was so excited and I had so much fun playing with it. So I got it in black which is quite odd because it is available in pink but I got the black one. I thought it's just more versatile and looks more like solid classy kind. So basically they have this screw over here that you can screw on your digital camera or whatever camera. I think digital camera because um, DSLR will probably be too heavy. I'm not sure. And then they have this screw here to adjust like the angle. I also got this for free. Um, it basically comes in a set. This one's to like you basically attach this on top here. Like you screw it in. And then you just pop your phone in here. Like you just secure your phone inside here. This is like super long. It's like from here and then all the way <laughs> to here. So I can take really far selfies right now. So yeah, I didn't get the Bluetooth thing because I thought that I don't need it and I have self timeline anyway. Okay, so that's the end of my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!